What's going on YouTube? It's Destroy em, and I am back with another fresh commentary. And we are on Terminal. That wonderful map that everybody loves to hate. Because now it comes up more than Dome, more than any map. I figure that they thought that we loved this map so much that we should play it all the time. But baby, slow down. Don't take it too fast. You're gonna, you're gonna make it old again. Oh, and that floor is dirty. Somebody hand me a mop. Because I'm cleaning up these guys around this corner. But I just want to say thank you um, for for watching. Most of all. Um, now I'm going to be one of those douchebags and tell you to go and subscribe to my videos. I won't do that. You know, it's your choice if you want to describe, um, subscribe to my videos. Um, if you like what I, what I have to offer, I shouldn't even have to ask you to. Um, nor will I ask you to hit the like button or leave a comment. If you want to leave a comment and discuss something, we'll discuss it. There's no need for us to, or for me to say, um, like my video or subscribe to it. Because like I said, if, you, if, if you're interested in the video, you're, you'll subscribe by yourself without me even having to ask you. But um, anyway, we're on Terminal. Um, and this is just one of those maps where people tend to camp a lot and there's a lot of like high places where you can climb up on and head glitch you got the plane where where people like to go and hang on in the cockpit the cockpit wow but um this board looks pretty much the same from modern warfare 2 it didn't really change anything with too much but um maybe add in a little bit more details you know brighten the colors a little bit everything looks look, looks pretty nice only thing different is that um a computer shop i guess you can call it it's no longer a bookstore now it's filled with computers you can call it the apple store whatever you want to call it whatever your preference and ooh sneak out and get a double turn it into a, a unofficial triple but it works um, I really do like this map um, it's not bad only thing I think they could do was tone it down a little bit because it comes up in rotation too much um, but hey the maps of Modern Warfare 3 suck ass anyway so it's like we're stuck with this one in Dome But at the mission at hand, when we got into this lobby and this map came up in rotation and as soon as we saw it, everybody clicked for it. So I told Drew what I was going to do and he said he'll help protect me. But I'm like, nah man, I appreciate it, but but I'm going to just I'm gonna have to go on the long wolf. So I kind of, you know, I stick, I rode with Dylan who was um, over there by those, that T-shaped uh, flower. Uh, flower bed over there near Burger Town, and he's working that corner. So I, I rush back and help him, and go back and help Drew, and just try not to die. Um, this map gets it gets really hectic. This game was it was sick. I had knots all in my stomach because I really wanted to do well for the first time on this board since this was the first time that we played it, and um, I really wanted to do well. So um. Through on my little specialist class. Um, I'm not sure where everybody else is running, but I'm running specialist for right now. Don't really need the UAV because I already know where the enemy is going to be at anyway. Um, and that's and that's a thing that you must learn if you want to also be successful. Um, you have to learn where they're going to spawn. I don't know when they're going to spawn. I just know where. Um, and that's basically the empty spots on the map of where you and your team are. So if your team's somewhere and there's a blank spot on the map where no one is, generally that's where the enemy will be or that's where they'll spawn at. But that takes time to get used to. It doesn't always happen like that, especially um, with the new spawning system. Sometimes they'll spawn right behind you. And depending on what game that you play, uh, Ooh, Dylan gets some Moab. Didn't see that coming. Um, 
depending on what gameplay that you'll play um they might spawn somewhere else or they might spawn closer to you just depends except for games where you have to wait to respawn uh, I hate games like that because as soon as I die I, I quickly press X but there's a countdown meter and I'm stuck looking at it but um so far in this game Dylan has already dropped his Moab I'm not sure if Drew has passed away no he's still up there he's still clean um, he told me when I was editing this video that while he was up there the noobs um, he kept killing them and they just kept coming back so I mean why, why move I wouldn't move I would stay right where I am and they didn't even shoot at the guy they just ignored him I'm, but I, there was a couple a couple of times where he did get shot at and here's an intense moment because as you can see I am out of bullets I don't know what to do so I run and I risk everything to get that scavenger pack hurry up and get back because I know there's a man around this corner he's laying down look son you are not slick okay you gotta be a little bit more slicker than that if you wanna get one up on me buddy um, but before this video ends I want every viewer every subscriber of mine to know one thing um, when you're playing a game or if you're a youtuber and you upload your videos make sure that you're having fun because as long as you're having fun who cares about success you know just have fun do you I mean if you copy someone else's style I wouldn't copy the whole thing but it, it is good to what is the word that I'm looking for to um I don't know the word that I'm looking for but it's motivated it, it's, it's good to be motivated off someone else's work and whatever they do inspire you to not do the same exact thing but to do something different but end of the day have fun Shouts out to Dylan and Andrew. We just dropped a triple Moab on Terminal. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.